The basic flow of the day-to-day -day use of My Service Jobs Plus is, an appointment request is made by a customer, you schedule the appointment and assign it to a specific user, then the assigned user receives the appointment on his or her mobile device. We're going to cover the process of making appointments and assigning them. Whenever talking about this, I always like to reinforce that your customers are requesting appointments. They're technically not making the appointments. I like to make this clear because appointment details don't actually go to a user's device, whether you have one user or many users, until you mark the request as scheduled and assign it. Only at this point does it officially become an appointment. With that said, let's look at how appointment requests will be made by your customers. A customer will get to your scheduling calendar either through your website or by clicking on the customer calendar link you might include on your Facebook page, in an email, or something like that. They find an available date, fill out the appointment request form, and click submit. If you have the acknowledgement notification enabled, the customer is now sent an acknowledgement that you have received the request. Now, on the My Service Jobs Plus dashboard, the appointment request screen will show a new pending request. Also, the appointment request count on all users' mobile devices will increase by one, basically saying, hey, there's a new request waiting to be scheduled. So now what we're here for, getting the appointment scheduled. If you're working in the mobile app, you go to the appointment screen, tap the calendar icon in the lower left, then tap pending schedule. From a desktop or laptop, you'll be logged into the My Service Jobs Plus dashboard. I'm using a desktop computer for this demonstration. Go to your appointment request screen and find the pending requests. If you have a long list, remember you may use the search tools to narrow it down. Click or tap on the request to view the appointment request details. If you can meet the customer's request as submitted, the next step is to assign the appointment to a specific user in the drop-down list. If you're the only user, that's easy. Next, change the status to scheduled. Before I click save, I'll point out the other statuses you could use. For instance, canceled or closed. You can decide how you want to use these statuses and don't be surprised if we add others. Okay, so we've assigned a user and selected the scheduled status. The next step is to click save. Now, an appointment is created in the My Service Jobs app on the assigned user's device and the user will receive a text message informing them they have a new appointment in My Service Jobs. Also, the appointment request indicator count is decreased by one on all devices. That's how to handle a request you can accommodate. But what about a request that you cannot meet for some reason? Good question, because frankly, that's going to happen. We've made it simple to send a reschedule request email to the customer. When you want to do this, just click the request for reschedule email button. This will immediately send an email to the customer explaining you're unable to meet the request and ask them to request a different time. The email will have a link which will take them directly to your scheduling calendar. So if you can't meet a request, asking the customer to request a different time is really easy. Okay, now you know how to take an appointment request and convert it to an appointment and what you can do to ask a customer to request a different time if needed. The best way to really learn this and get comfortable with it is by doing it. So don't hesitate to get in there and experiment. Create some fake appointment requests and work through the process. If you have any questions, make sure to check out our My Service Jobs Plus support resources on our website and our videos on our YouTube channel. As always, our team is available to address any questions or concerns. Chat with us using our live chat at www.myserviceforce.com or email us at support at myserviceforce.com. Finally, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's really useful for training and refreshing your memory. It's also a great way to keep up to date with what's going on with My Service Force and be notified when new videos are posted.